Good evening and welcome to your 18 WJTS newscast for Friday, August 9th. I'm Jared Atkins reporting. Thank you for choosing us for your local news coverage. At around 9.48 p.m. on Thursday, officers from the Jasper Police Department conducted a traffic stop at the intersection of US 231 and 12th Avenue. The stop was initiated due to a speeding vehicle. During the stop, officers detected the strong odor of marijuana coming from the vehicle, a green 2007 Jeep Liberty. A search of the vehicle revealed multiple controlled substances, including marijuana, cocaine, ecstasy, and Xanax. The driver, identified as 20-year-old Madeline Stiles from Bloomington, Indiana, exhibited signs of impairment. Stiles refused to submit to a chemical test, prompting officers to obtain a search warrant. Upon execution of the warrant, Stiles tested positive for cannabis, cocaine, and benzodiazepines. Stiles was charged with multiple offenses, including ne neglect of a dependent, excuse me, a level 6 felony, operating while intoxicated, a class C misdemeanor, operating while intoxicated, endangerment, a class A misdemeanor, possession of marijuana, a class B misdemeanor, and operating a vehicle with a scheduled one or two substance in her blood, a class C misdemeanor. A passenger in the vehicle, identified as 28-year-old Jarvell Whitfield, also of Bloomington, Indiana, was taken into custody. Whitfield was found to have marijuana and Xanax while being processed at the Dubois County Security Center. He's facing the following charges of possession of a cocaine, level 6 felony, possession of marijuana, a class B misdemeanor, possession of a legend drug, a level 6 felony, possession of a controlled substance, a class A misdemeanor, and trafficking into jail, a level 5 felony charge. Back in April, detectives with the Indiana State Police arrested Matthew Cornelius of Odin, Indiana, for charges of stalking and drug possession. After the arrest, a no-contact order was issued through the court against Cornelius for the female victim and her children. After the arrest, the Indiana State Police were provided information that Cornelius had violated the no-contact order on multiple occasions. Based on information gathered during the investigation, detectives requested an warrant through Knox County Superior Court. As a result, on August 7th, an arrest warrant was issued for Matthew Cornelius. On August 8th, ISP served the arrest warrant at 115 DeMont Drive in Odin, Indiana for invasion of privacy. During the arrest, probable cause was found and suspected illegal drug activity inside the residence. A search warrant was applied and granted, and during the search, suspected illegal drugs were located. Cornelius was arrested from the residence and is currently housed in the Davis County Jail on charges of invasion of privacy, Class A misdemeanor, 12 counts, and possession of a controlled substance, a Class A misdemeanor. In the early morning hours on Friday, a personal injury accident occurred on Newton Street in Jasper. The incident took place around 12.30 a.m. Friday morning involving two vehicles. A black 1999 Mercury Mountaineer SUV driven by 19-year-old Jacob Thacker of Jasper was traveling southbound on Newton Street. As Thacker approached the intersection at Baden-Strauss, his vehicle experienced brake failure, preventing him from slowing down for the traffic light. The Mountaineer struck the rear of a 2022 International Semi-Tractor Trailer driven by 32-year-old Samuel Billing of Wyoming, Michigan. The impact caused the Mountaineer to lodge underneath the trailer, resulting in a total loss of the vehicle. Thacker and the passenger in his vehicle both complained of neck pain and sustained minor abrasions. They were transported to Memorial Hospital for further evaluation. No injuries were reported and no citations were issued. The Jasper Police Department was assisted at the scene by Sternberg's Record Service, ISP, the Dubois County Sheriff's Office, and Dubois County EMS. The Indiana Department of Transportation has announced a road closure for State Road 57 in Gibson County. Beginning on or around Tuesday, August 13th, crews will close State Road 57 in Gibson County near Buckskin. This closure will occur between County Road 900 South and County Road 950 South. This closure will allow crews to perform a culvert replacement project. Work is expected to last two days, depending upon weather cooperation. The official detour is listed as State Road 168 to I-69 to State Road 68. Local traffic will have access up to the point of closure. The Crawford County Fairgrounds took to social media Wednesday evening to thank the Crawford County Highway Department 
for the fresh makeover the entrance had recently received. The entrance to the fairgrounds had needed repaired for some time. The new look is smooth, paved, and most importantly, pothole free. The Crawford County Fairgrounds are located on Indiana 66 in Marengo, directly across from the Crawford County Junior Senior High School. You can visit their Facebook page to stay up to date on all the happenings year round at the Crawford County Fairgrounds. The Jasper Police Department is inviting you and your family to the Public Safety Community Day, a free and fun filled event that offers a unique opportunity to connect with local public safety personnel. The event will be held on Wednesday, August 28th from 4.30 to 7.30 p.m. over at the Ubalor & Sons Toyota Field located at 788 West 12th Avenue. This event promises an exciting array of activities including canine demonstrations, a dedicated kid zones, police and fire obstacle courses, interactive vehicle displays, a lifeline helicopter landing, an airsoft station, water balloon fight, and much more. Free food will be provided for all attendees. Don't miss your chance to engage with your local police, fire, and emergency services in a fun and interactive setting. This event is open to everyone. And you can mark your calendars for a feel-good event coming up in November across not only the Hoosier State, but the entire nation. During a time when many are preparing for the upcoming school year, families are using back-to-school sales to fill shoebox gifts for a Samaritan's Purse event called Operation Christmas Child. Operation Christmas Child gives people the opportunity to pack shoebox gifts each year to bless children in need around the world. Parents often use the project to teach their kids about giving. Children in over 100 countries will be gifted these shoeboxes filled with supplies like pencils, crayons, notebooks, personal care items, and fun toys. The National Collection Week for Operation Christmas Child is held from November 18th through the 25th. For more information, please visit SamaritansPurse.org. Alassie is thrilled to announce the upcoming 11th Annual Latino Culture Fest set to take place on August 30th and 31st at Market Street Park in Honeyburg. This festival celebrates the rich and diverse cultures of Latin America, offering a day full of music, dance, food, and community. The 11th Annual Latino Culture Fest is a family-friendly event that invites everyone to immerse themselves in the vibrant traditions and customs of Latin American countries. Attendees can look forward to live entertainment, authentic Latin American cuisine, cultural arts and crafting, family activities, and community resources. Admission to the Alassie event is free and all are welcome to attend. They are encouraging everyone to join them for a day of celebration and community building. The festival runs from 4 p.m. to 11 p.m. on Friday, August 30th and 11 a.m. until 11 p.m. on Saturday, August 31st. The Indiana Senate Republicans Caucus is offering a paid spring semester internship in its communications, information, technology, legal, legislative page, and policy offices during the upcoming 2025 session of the Indiana General Assembly. Qualified candidates may be of any major and must at least be a college sophomore. Recent college graduates as well as graduate and law school students are encouraged to apply. Interns earn a $900 bi-weekly stipend and benefit from scholarship and academic credit opportunities, professional development, community involvement, and networking. Senate internships are full-time positions at the State House in downtown Indianapolis that typically begin with a mandatory orientation in late December or early January and conclude at the end of the legislative session in April of 2025. For more information, please visit IndianaSenateRepublicans.com. And that's been a look at your local news here on 18WJTS. We'll be right back with a check of your forecast. 